Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft Modded Survival. I like how we always end up starting off in this same room every single time, like without fail. Unless it's a continuation of like the last episode, but for the most part, if I'm starting anew in an episode, I'm right here. Anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. But uh, a little change of plans from where we left off. Rather than heading back into Uvite, or Uvite, or however you pronounce it, I actually want to try one more strategy for killing the King of Scorchers. Now, it's sort of like the lazy man's way of doing it, but I think we've already established at this point that there's absolutely no way that we're going to be able to make a dent in him when he's, like, flying around freely. So I went and I mined out a little bit more obsidian, and, um... Yeah, we're gonna try to make a little obsidian box for him, and, uh, well, we're gonna hope that that keeps him contained and... Hi, there. Oh my god. Jesus! What a great way to start us off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just eggs. Okay, we're running away from you, for real. Just let me regen my health slightly. He's still chasing us. Oh my god. Alright, just calm it down, sir. Just calm it down, please, sir. Why don't you? I even took my bow out of my hotbar because I didn't think we'd need it because we'd just teleport. Oh, my king of scorchers, he's even still there and stuff. I don't know where, but he's still... God dang it. We're going to get up there and we're going to just start having, having bombs dropped on us again. Um, yeah. All right. So we're just going to have to uh, take him out. Take out Mr. Mr. Wild. I took out... As I was arranging my inventory before I started here, I took out the arrow that was in my inventory, because I am a genius. So now I don't have any arrows, and there is no use for my bow that I have in my hand right now. So let me just, uh... Oh, well, we're not going to be killing the King of Scorchers with our hands anyway, or with our with our bow, I should say. Should I take out that uh, that guy over there, though? Maybe I should. Um, but, oh, he's next... Is he next to a wildfire, or... No, just a health spider. Yeah, I'm going to go after him, because I want to get all of the purple blazes that I can possibly manage to get. So let me just take care of you first. I just hope that he doesn't stay over the lava. Can you like come back over here slightly instead of being over lava and stuff? Yeah, that would be much better. And of course, he didn't, oh, there are a couple of them over there. Man, I'm just like hitting the jackpot of these guys today. Um, fair enough. I'm just gonna, <laughs> while I have the opportunity, since they usually don't, like, show up all that frequently, I'm just gonna, holy mother of god, there are four of them. <laughs> holy crap, but they're all flying, like, towards lava. Um, but fortunately, there are no wildfires around, so I may as well just, like, take advantage of this while I can. Because we're gonna need to, there we go. <laughs> I love how they're just so bad at aiming. They're so bad at aiming. Hold on, let me just knock you towards a wall over here. There we go, much better. Much better. Hey, two of them. Two of them, just farming it like crazy. Not a big deal or anything. Go back the other way. There we go. There we go. They have this nasty habit of flying themselves over lava, and I don't like it. At least their projectiles kind of don't do much. <laughs> they just light the ground on fire. Okay, let me knock you back towards this wall. As long as you don't end up in... There we go. How many was that? Now we have four. Four out of eight. So we're halfway to our second Infernal Flame. Granted, I know I've sort of, like, spawned the Infernal Flames, but give me a break because, uh, the King of Scorchers just kind of disappears. So, oh, there's you. All right, so let's do this. Let's just, uh, hopefully not worry about him. Let's, god dang it. All right, there we go. Ooh, ooh, all right, we're good, we're good. So no King of Scorchers anymore. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Look at this place. It's such a freaking mess. <laughs> this is like this is like an old school uh, creative server back in Minecraft Alpha. This is what it would look like. Um, okay. So let's build an obsidian box. That's what we're going to do. I guess we can just build it right down here. Why not? Um, and then we're going to spawn the King of Scorchers inside of that. And our goal is going to be for, uh, should I make it like down in the, I'm gonna make it like in the ground actually. So I'm gonna dig it out. I'm gonna make it like a four by four? Four by four is probably good. Um, so one wider here. Make it, uh, but to make a four by four, I think I need to dig out a little bit more than that. So anyway, anyway, we'll have to 
get the engineering down. <laughs> All right, so we'll, well, we'll start off by making a, uh, a base. So here we go. We will make, I have to be very careful when I'm mining with this thing or else I just take out like way too much. So four by four base. And there we go. Okay, and then I just dig out a little more here. And let's keep putting four by four things. I didn't mean to do that. Every time I incorrectly place obsidian, it's a bummer. Actually, well, no. I this thing mines it out a little bit quicker, but you get the idea, I think. Okay, so keep mining it out. Keep mining it out and we'll make our little cage for the scorcher and it'll be lovely all right there we go and we're just about halfway done with it and by the time we're done we'll leave a little opening so that we can spawn him inside it hopefully uh we could <laughs> if we wanted to be really devious we could simply suffocate him but i'm not sure about how fair that would be um but we're almost out of obsidian isn't that just great? I didn't think, I really didn't calculate before I, uh, before I came down here, did I? Well, we can mine out this portal at least. That'll help slightly. Um, that'll give us a few more pieces. So let's mine this out, but yeah, other than that, I guess it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be not enough. I don't think even with this portal having been mined out, so. Okay, so I still, this is not going to be enough quite yet. Oh, mother of God, I don't like you. Stop it. I don't have any arrows to take him out, so I'm going to have to, going to have to strafe him. Ha, ha, ow, ow, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Pyaw, you're dead. Oh, that was close. Okay, just have to do some pretty, pretty hard strafes on that guy. <laughs> there we go, and I'm, I'm going to have to go and, and find a, a little bit more obsidian in order to finish this off but I guess for now let me just complete the last layer I can so I'm gonna need just just nine more no I mean sorry just uh, 11 more about and um, I'll just cut until I have it and uh, we'll be right back okay so we're back that took a lot longer than it should have because when I re-entered the nether uh, a creeper happened to have previously walked through the portal, and he blew up, and I, <laughs> he blew up the portal with him, I didn't have a flint and steel on me, and so I had to go all the way back around to the other portal, loop back, and then get my flint and steel. Anyway, it was, it was silly, but we're back, and, uh, we have enough, we have enough obsidian to finish things off, and, uh, yeah, so here we go. We'll just, we'll leave like one little opening and we'll hope that his magical little projectiles are not strong enough to, uh, yeah, um, I also don't know if I'm going to have to make like another window peephole or something in order to, um, anyway, we'll figure it out. Let's see what happens when we spawn him inside here. Oh, he's too big to fit in it. <laughs> Five push-ups. Five push-ups added to our total. Um, I went and actually I got a new chest plate and stuff just because I figured that would be useful. Um, maybe let's uh, let's go back up. Let's go back up. I want to see. Do we have to really make it like that much bigger? Do we really have to make it that much bigger? I'm about to find out. Watch, it'll have disappeared, and we'll just have to spawn him again. Um, anywho, all right, all right. Comment with comment with your lags. Comment with your lags. Oh, mother of God. Okay, so he seems to be stuck in there. <laughs> so maybe if we just mine down below him, we can uh, have a little party and he won't be able to see us. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. Don't worry. It's cool. I'm just going to mine towards the... Uh... Okay, so here's our, here's our thing. I'm just going to do a little subterranean excavation here. <laughs> And it's going to be great. I think he's over on this side, kind of. Yeah, you can't see me. You can't see me, man. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I wonder if I mine out this, if I'll see his... Ooh, I kind of... Oh, maybe if I do this. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? Here we go. 
Oh, you don't see me. No, you don't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he's stuck down there. Yeah, now he doesn't know what to do at all. <laughs> he has no idea what's hitting him. He's like, what? Why, why am I dying? Why am I dying? Well, sir, it's because you are an extremely rude individual. And I'm going to wear down my sword like a lot here. Maybe I should just use my ender sword, which will wear you down slower, but it'll not wear out the durability quite as much. I could also jump with that, like, help. Yeah, let me crit, crit him up. <laughs> There we go. That's better. That's better. Yeah, so I guess it's it's somewhat unfortunate that it's come down to this, but there is just simply no possible way. Other at at least at this particular moment in time, there is simply like no other way to accomplish the the killing of him. So, anyway, let's just keep jumping around and stuff and things. And he's trying to get me. He's trying to hit me, but he can't. <laughs> All right, so we'll ju we'll just have to collect four more purple blazes, and then we can spawn him once more in the same fashion. And uh, yeah, it should be good. It should be like super fine and super dandy. And six blue fire stone, give them all to me. Thank you, sir. Um, I just need to go back up, I guess. And collect them. I think I saw them spawn, and if they didn't, they're supposed to. So, yeah. That. Okay. Oh, that's a mine thing. I don't think I want to. Yeah! Oh, haha. That's what that does. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that. That blew everything up. That blew everything up. That. God, why didn't I just mine into it? I'm giving myself six blue fire. I'm not dealing with this anymore. <laughs> Stop being rude. I don't care about any of the other stuff. I'm just taking the six blue fire stones because that's some BS right there. <laughs> We're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna kill s more dudes, okay? We're gonna find more purple blazes or scorchers. I don't even know what to call things anymore. Um... That's our six blue fire. He definitely dropped them. You can you can see there was a little little hint of blue, and then it just did everything. Everything blew up. <laughs> I want to cry right now, but I'm not going to because God dang it! Because big girls don't cry. So, ow, ow! Stop it! Stop it right now! My God. <laughs> Nothing wants me to experience success. Nothing. Um, I also put down a command block here just so I can get back. Um, thank you. Hello, Mr. Scorcher. Mr. Scorchers. There are multiple of you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you out just so that I can spawn another one of these guys and we can get freaking angelic armor because it's long overdue and stuff and you did not ow Jeremy Stop stop. How are we doing on our armor? It's wearing down pretty significantly and stuff, but it's okay. Man, can you imagine how difficult these guys would actually be if their projectiles like worked in the same fashion as Blazemen? Although it is kind of annoying that they do light everything on fire. There we go. There's another five out of eight. We just need three more. Let me destroy all the fire. All right. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. There we go. There's another except wildfires. Um, I totally also forgot to get my arrow when I went down there, so I'm just gonna high ground him. High ground advantage. High ground advantage. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. And you're all dead. And you're all dead. Are you mad about this? I think you're mad about this, and I'm gonna probably die. Oh, I don't wanna die. Alright, alright. Ooh, ooh. There we go. All is well in the land of the nethers. And let me just take you out some more. Yeah, there we go. Can you drop a... No, you can't. Why would you ever want to be kind and do that? <laughs> okay. Um, any more of you? No. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to do another cut until I've managed to obtain myself three more purple blaze thingamadoohickeys. 
And then we'll make another uh, infernal whatever the hell it's called, infernal flame. And, and then we'll spawn our second dude, and yeah, that'll happen. And then we'll have 12 blue fire stone, and then we'll be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to back to just get an arrow right now, and, and I'll see ya when I see ya. Okay, so I forgot <laughs> that I would have to go and actually get two redstone ores with my silk touch pickaxe because the inferno sword, we have to make another one. It is made like this. And I totally didn't realize it's used in recipes for something. Six inferno swords, that's gnarly. Oh, so fury fire is what the dude, is what the, uh, what's his name? The, I can't even come up with names. The King of Scorchers. The King of Scorchers dropped this. And yeah, before we didn't end up picking. But I don't care, because I have a better sword than that anyway. And that seems to be the only thing it's used for. Let's make an Inferno sword. Like, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> let's just get it out of the way. We have our blaze powder, fortunately. We make it like this, surround it by a little bit of that. And a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. And then we put this in, and then we just do these. And then we have another infernal flame oh boy <laughs> there we go number two let's go back into the nether and we will destroy mr king of scorchers number two i also got rid of all my experience by enchanting a book and uh yeah man we're good so much freaking tedious work i swear though there's probably, yep, Jungle Stegosaurus, how you doing? Seems that every time I go through that portal, there's something waiting for me on the other side. Just pretty sweet like that. <laughs> okay. Shall we, uh, let's give him the spawn from down below, I guess. Bam. Yeah. You don't even know what to do now. <laughs> okay. So this time, we're going to enter through the bottom, and it's going to be really, really great and stuff like that and things and yeah okay cool 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 so we're just going to take him out and then after we take him out i'm going to mine the piece of obsidian that is above my head and then we're just gonna it'll be the best it'll be the best and hopefully i'm not wearing my sword out too much i must have like taken so many uses out of it i'm just going to do a little f3 plus h action after we're done with this can you believe though after we're done with this guy after he is dead and gone and the world does not does not mourn him <laughs> for his ugliness then we will be able to well, well we'll still need some some ice stones and stuff but we'll be super close to actually making some angelic armor and then we'll be able to fly and when we can fly oh man i believe i can fly please ignore that I believe I can fly, I believe I can touch the sky, I think about it every night and day, I spread my wings and fly away. Okay, so there we go. Hey, look what didn't blow up this time around. Oh, did I get a statue? Oh, I think you get a statue for this. Oh my god, that's awesome. There we go, 12 blue fire stones, a fury fire. And a King of Scorchers statue. Dude, we even get like a trophy and he planted just another one of those. Not today, sir. Not today. All right. So, yeah, we would have had another Fury Fire if we want to give our... I don't really care to give myself one, though, because I'm not going to use it to make that sword because we already have a better one. How about some F3... Excuse me. F3 plus H action. And how many more uses do we have? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Only 3% down the drain. All right. Well, anyway, we can keep that up. So... All right, we are so close. How close are we to making the angelic armor? How many ice stones do we need? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I think we need, so we need three blue fire stone per each um, article of armor, and then it varies uh, dependent upon the rest. So here, I'm gonna just go angelic. So it is... Three blue fire, three blue fire, three blue fire, three blue fire, and then, oh, two blue fire. Ha! So we're one ahead. Um, but then the ice stones, so we have frozen shards. I know we have a few of them. Let's see how many we have. Uh, we have approximately two frozen shards. <laughs> Ooh, magical. We're going to have to head back into Isica and collect some more. I also think that those, uh, the flying spider webs, they also ha uh, drop full ice stones, I think. So 
I guess we're just going to have to do our thing. We can also start making like a... That's very interesting the way I hold this and my hand has disappeared. <laughs> um, we could make like a shrine of our, our victory kills. I wonder which... I guess you get... Um, let's search statue. Statue. Starchue. <laughs> and it has a spell. I guess you get statues for like the... Oh, ancient entity. Maybe like the more... Ex extreme? Oh, Netherwatcher even drops a statue now. Um, Parasecta has not dropped a statue for me. Dramix didn't drop a statue for me. I wonder if you just have to, like, kill without taking damage, although I don't know if you can possibly track that. Whatever, dude. I guess, um, next up on the agenda will be to just go and collect some ice stones, and then we'll be able to fly! It'll be the greatest! Ah, oh, it'll be at last. Long last. Alright, I will see you then.